I cannot tell you how many times I've heard experts say that when you have chronic foot and ankle problems, you should always wear your shoes and you should never ever go barefoot. I'm here to tell you that is the worst possible piece of advice you can ever be given. If you are constantly walking in shoes, your feet and your brain become completely disconnected to where you are on earth. When your feet are not connected to the earth, you don't build neurological connections that are crucial to healing your feet and your ankles. So if you're constantly wearing a shoe, especially one that has a big cushy sole, and this isn't even the cushiest of them, there's a lot of brands out there. Skechers have those ones that's like a big giant marshmallow, and then they put a wedge on the back that forces you to rock. It's got a little rocker on it, so you don't even have to work at walking anymore. But if you had to work at balancing your body and coordinating, your body would start to heal. You would start to actually wake up the sensors in your feet and your ankle, those same sensors that have been dampened and dulled by wearing a big cushy shoe all day long because somebody told you that was the only way that you were going to get relief from your foot and ankle problems. Now, it might provide you relief because you've had long, long standing issues, but it is not the solution. So you may need to wear something soft to handle your, either a bone spur or plantar fasciitis or some other kind of foot and ankle injury, but that is not going to get you to the path of healing, ultimate healing, so that you can be able to stand in bare feet and be comfortable. And I'm gonna show you a reason why standing in your bare feet and actually doing that as an exercise is actually going to help to heal you. So what you need to do is take your cushy shoes, toss them out, and you need to get into your bare feet. So stay with me and here's how it's gonna look. I've been an athlete my whole life. So being an athlete means I've had chronic ankle sprains. And there was a time several years ago when I had so much ankle pain, it went on for years. And I worked with a podiatrist who, same thing, told me, wear shoes all the time, made sure that, you know, he, you know, he gave me a bunch of stretches. I did those because I was pretty diligent about that. Um, but was telling me things like I shouldn't be biking, I shouldn't be walking, I shouldn't be doing all the activities that, you know, really energized me. And the problem with that is the pain just got worse. And he would put me in a boot, literally put me in a boot, in a cast, a walking cast for weeks on end. It never got better until I actually started to do some yoga and I started to work on the balance and I started to reconnect the sensors in my feet to the earth. And I have to tell you, I mean, I thought I was gonna have to have surgery on my ankles and it completely went away. I haven't had a problem in my knees, my ankles for years but I've been diligent about making sure that I'm doing things that challenge my balance and coordination. So I wanna show you something. So then my socks here. One of the things when you, um, when you have your feet just flat to the earth, if I go like this and you can see the shaking, right? So what is that shaking doing? That's sending signals from my foot up to my brain to tell my body where it is in space and to tell my body how to make these shifts and these adjustments so that I can stay balanced. Now, if I go to this side, oftentimes there's one side that's worse than another. So I'm gonna tell you right now, and you can probably immediately see it, I balance way better on this side than I do on the other side. And so this is neurological training. Do you wanna train your brain and your nervous system or do you wanna just keep wearing big, giant, cushy shoes? But this is so much better for you. So I would challenge you, you see that? So I do yoga at least twice a week. I've been practicing for probably 17 years and I still have, you know, I wouldn't say balance issues, but you can still see that my body still challenges itself. Definitely need to work on my left side more than my right. Look at that, that's solid right there. So one of the best ways you can do that, always get a chair if you're not confident in your ability to balance. And I would just challenge you to make sure you keep that chair there for support and try to balance on one foot for 30 seconds to a minute. 
or see how long you can, you can actually hold that. But if you try to hold this 30 seconds to a minute and you do this a couple of times a day, I promise you, you will start to feel so much relief in your foot and ankle injuries. If you have anything like plantar fasciitis, bone spurs, chronic ankle issues, Achilles tendonitis, any of those things, do this in small chunks so that you can start to retrain those sensors in your feet and your ankles back to the brain. Because if you don't train those sensors and get them strong, you're just not gonna heal. And no big cushy shoe is gonna solve that problem for you. So start balancing. Again, 30 seconds to a minute, maybe once or twice a day. It will be a game changer. It might take a little time, but it's a game changer. And I promise you won't have to be banished to big cushy shoes the rest of your life. So hope that was helpful. Thanks for being here. Please subscribe and share this page and I'll see you on the next one.